Welcome to You Can Do It. Today we're going to be working on a KTM 300. My bike did an enduro in Wales, left it at a friend's and it stayed there for about three years. As life got in the way, I had a child, so uh, yes, yeah, so it hasn't run for three years, so I've got to get it all going again. I know that the starter system never worked on this, so I'm going to take this all off and replace it with the new uh, gear ratio Bendix and crown wheel that uh, KTM supply which is a big improvement on the old one. It spins the engine faster and um, less stress on the starter motor. First of all, we'll take this starter motor off and assembly, and then we'll go inside and have a look at it. This bike's gonna be a bit of a project over winter to get it all back, back in ship shape, conditioned to do some gyros in the time. So, first of all, I'm the first to say, just take the bolts out, blah, 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 blah. But actually, in this situation, because KTM have different size bolts for all the all, all the all these ones that go in here are different lengths. So really, yeah, I've done it where you said, "Yeah, oh, I can remember where those bolts go," and you put them on something like you put them on something like this, all nice and neat, and then someone goes and knocks it, and they all fly off, and you're back to square one. So it takes a bit of time. Get a bit of cardboard, draw it in, and then um, stick the bolts in there. So I've done that. You've got this plastic cover where you have to undo three bolts just to be able to get the plastic cover off to be able to to get to that bolt behind it. Plastic cover comes off, look, and there you're left with the so once you've got that off, it allows you to get that one out. So you've got one bolt there, one bolt there, you've got another one round there, you've got another one round there, you've got another one down there, and then you've got one tucked up behind here, which I've taken that one off. And finally, you've got one up under there. So it's right un up under there. So that's an easy one to forget if you're doing it from, if you're working up high here, you can't see that one there, but y there is one under there. So if this doesn't come loose, then you've probably forgotten this one here. So onto my little trusty diagram. Here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, holding this on. These two are just for your starter motor, just so that I can get it off. So what I'll actually do is I'll take this starter motor out. I've bought a new one. Uh, look, there you are. So that's uh, this is an older uh, the old 350 one. I'd changed the bushes in it and brushes and everything, and it still wouldn't turn this thing over. So I just used to run it all the time just with the kickstart. But it's there, so I might as well get it working. So I've ordered the new parts, which we'll go over later. But um, so there here, you can see that's where that little bolt is there. But you can get to it without taking the starter motor. I did the wet mod, but this this case is all loose now, and it should just look, come off. I'll disconnect that, and then we can take it off. She's off. I've got a bit of a split there in the gasket. I mean, that gasket's not for oil or anything. It's just to, you don't get grime and crap in there. As I say, I've done the wet mod modification. You seal, you seal it up at the bottom here, because if you do get any, a standard when you, these were made new, there was a vent at the bottom here, and if it got full of um, uh, water and crap, it was supposed to drain out, but it'd get blocked up and it'd just stay there. So, especially if you went in deep water and things like that, it'd come in the other way. So basically block that up under there and then you just put a, a vent pipe in here and then you vent that up go up somewhere north around your tank and vent it up there so um it's not too bad i mean it say for three years so i'll uh, clean all that up but this is the old bendix after researching they're just they're just basically shit <laughs> so they've brought out a, a better one with a um, different slightly different number of teeth in this that gear ratio so you you have to replace this and the crown wheel behind it but to show you all that i'll have to take this inside i've done these you need a six mil socket for those so i've taken that one off and i'm going to do you do these two and then i can take all that out and we'll move this inside so i've got the ignition coil off and things like that so i'm left with that which i can now take inside it's freezing out here the bike's actually just in the van at the moment and then there's all my bolts there so i now know where everything goes um what i didn't say is you do have to take off your lever but there's just a little little bolt you undo there and you can take that off you need to take that off before you can take your, your cover off so now we're just going to clean everything up and put the new parts in we're back inside got that off i'm going to do the wet uh, fill it up with oil to do the full wet mod i'm going to put this back so i will have to get a new gasket because it needs to be all sealed so i mean there's loads of videos on the internet if um, slavin at slavin's racing does it done the um, the original video for uh, the wet mod so basically the, this little vent here, look, the gasket, gasket sort of just goes over it. 
the leaves a little bit underneath so that any anything inside that casing can go in through and, and out to the outside. Trouble is if you're in water and mud and crap like that, water gets in and it and it and it can uh, it's the right mess in there. So the idea with the wet mod is that you seal that up. You've got obviously got a nice new gasket on there, that is all sealed up, and then you have here up where this rubber grommet goes in here, you've got end pipe here which will go up to underneath the tank somewhere, but then you can fill this up with something like gear oil, the mill, I think it's 100 mil, I don't know. Check out the Slavin's Racing video, it'll tell you the exact volume. So you then actually got oil just sloshing around in here all the time, which is great because it keeps this all coated and everything. You get rusty or, or manky like that. Anyway, back to where we are. So it shows you what having a kid's has. I've been well, a kid in the last three years and I've just been my mind's gone to marbles, but actually, I put a brand new Bendix in years ago. Yes. So it still wouldn't, it still wouldn't crank over. And I don't think it was any fault of this Bendix. So the Bendix was working totally fine, spins out and everything. It's just an inherent problem with this setup. If you're servicing yours anyway, you want to make sure. I mean, I've did. I put, I put new. There's a new bushes in there. So this is covered in lots of other videos on the internet. But you just need to basically, and the best ones to go to are uh, Slavin Racing's videos, really. Yeah, there's a bush here which you need to replace and there's one on the other, uh, on the engine casing on the, on the engine but um i've replaced all that i remember that now i replaced all that's all new the bendix is new the main problem with these bendix, bendix is actually you don't realize but this here is just press fitted onto that shaft so what happens actually is you try you, you spin your starter and if everything's working it'll click it'll come into here. this once this spins out, it hits into, into your starter ring and a little flywheel. This rotates on here. And the thing is, it only rotates under a massive uh, load. So you won't even know. I mean, you can't really turn it by hand, but it does actually rotate. So the way to test that out, right in the center there, if you put like a little mark somewhere on this, and then put a corresponding mark, obviously not close here, because you can see that, that that wears on that on that bush in there, but say up here, Put a mark that cor so it corresponds so you can see, and then put it back in, try it, and then if you if you take it back out and you find that it's rotated, then you know definitely that this that the Bendix is, is slipping. I mean, to be honest, they all do, especially on the three hundreds, because they're obviously the, the bigger engine. In the head, forty thou, you've got a hell of a lot of compression there. So these things, when it, they, they turn until it comes up to the, up to full compression, and then it just locks, and in that case. Even if you've got the 410 watt motor, all it'll, tr all it'll do is spin th this on the shaft. I mean, not all of them do it, but most of them do it, and they will do eventually. So, unfortunately, this, although it's brand new, is going to be replaced. I think KTM tried to get away with it for as long as possible, but in the end, what they've done is they've actually re re had this redesigned. There's a couple of different versions of this. There's, what, there's one with... Um, on here, the one with 27 teeth, and I think one with 28 teeth. It's so the original 27, and there's one with 28, and the latest is the 28. So there's 28 teeth on there. And obviously, the, um, I don't know if you can see there, we've got any light, gets it there for you. Yeah, so that sits on there. Fortunately, uh, you don't just have to get a new Bendix, you have to get a new crown wheel as well because that's got a different, that obviously it has to have another a different set of teeth on it because you change the number of teeth on, on that one. So there are three part numbers, there's only one part number for the new version of that but there's three part numbers for that and you want the latest one. So to cut a long story short you just want the latest one of these which is 28 teeth around here. And this is actually welded around the bottom there onto this shaft. I mean, I've heard stories that that's even broken as well, but you, I mean, what else do you do? You can, once it's welded, it's about as far as you can go. So they obviously now make this with 28 teeth around here, and it's welded. So the number you need for these is 551-4002-6. Four zero zero. I'll write that all down. And for the crown wheel, uh, it's five five one four zero zero two two three hundred. Um, so then that will be a new Bendix, a new um, crown wheel. Now I've ordered those from um, a company in Europe. I'm actually in Austria at the moment, so that is on their way to me. I think it's Black Friday today, so I think I need. What do I pay? 
140 euros for a new one of these and a new um, crown wheel. So. There's no point me doing the one of the tests that you, one of the servicing things you need to do is um, if you come down here is once this is all set up you need to make sure that there isn't well, there's definitely not more than half a tooth movement there so that's a bit under half a tooth now um, but I'm not I don't know I'm not going to do anything until I put the new crown within and test that and then I'll see how much movement there is and if there is a, if it's too much you just got to put some shims in there to get rid of the reduce the movement down so all these little things sort of uh, reduce the amount of torque that goes to turning the engine in so you better get that set right in the meantime I've cleaned up all this cleaned up ready for the new gasket I will redo that I'm gonna have to fill that with some uh, gasket sealer just want to put the gasket on there's no no vent there and then I can um, with my with my wet mod put a little bit of oil in there and that'll stay in there and keep it all it all good. I've just done a bit of maths on the gearing from 1827 to the newer version with 1628 is about a 17% increase. So you've got 17% increase with that. And then if you do the, mod, the next mod that I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this 350 watt motor with a 410 watt motor. Then that again is another 17%. So you put those two together and you get about 37% more. So you've got 37% more um, starting power, basically. Uh, it makes a huge difference. So especially if you've got a, a modified head on the 300s, this should should do the job nicely. So I'm looking forward to that. So I've, um, over here, I picked up a, one of these off the internet. I saw it's a non-genuine part. I'm going to give that a go. Um, there's a genuine, and that's a non-genuine. See, if you notice, this, doesn't, this actually doesn't have any... Um, rubber seals here so I'm not too sure whether or not that's got rubber uh, somewhere else inside that so once I get this all up and running I will then come back to this and probably take that apart and run some um, gasket sealer around these joints just in case it does go over in water I don't particularly want water filling up this little baby so uh, I might as well just do that it'll be an easy job just to seal that up but anyway I've put both of them I've put the new one and the old one on the scale here and the difference is this is a this is about 20 odd grams heavier so obviously it's got a little bit more meat in it somewhere uh, hopefully in windings and power so that's going to go on there so i've got 17 percent more with that baby and when i get my, my new crown wheel and um, bendix i'm going to have another 70 to 37 percent so that definitely should do the job so i'm gonna have to wait for wait for that stuff to arrive and then we can start assembling it. So just to recap, if you need, if your Bendix is gone or it's, it's knackered or it's never started the bike, the ultimate is going to be the new Bendix with the 28 teeth on here, in which case you'll need to buy yourself a new crown wheel that's got, a, that's got the 16 teeth. However, if you've got the 2014 or 15 bike, I think they a 16 they come with the, that size crown wheel anyway so you just need to buy the bendix with the weld on it not so you can still get the 828 bendix but it hasn't got the weld and you get the 28 bendix with the weld um and then obviously put a 410 watt motor on it if you haven't already got one and that is the ultimate setup can't really do much more than that so uh yeah we're just going to sit and wait for this stuff to be delivered and then we'll put it all back together curiosity kills the cat and all that i um I couldn't uh, resist um, taking this apart just to check that there were actually some rubber seals in there. So I did my due, did it just due, mark, put a mark there just so I got it the, the right, right way around if I did take it off. But I have taken it off and there is actually rubber rubber seals in both, sets, both ends. So um, that's good, that saved me a job. So I know that that's all nice and tight and, and watertight. So. We are just waiting for those Bendix, the Bendix and the Crown Wheel to come.